Saturday's game will mark the 15th meeting between Alabama and Penn State. The Tide leads the all-time series 9-5. While there is a storied past with these two rivals, as our John Huddleston reports, this year's version of the Crimson Tide is hoping to write their own chapter in the history books. When you talk about the Penn State-Alabama series, you talk about history, you talk about pride, you talk about tradition. When you play in games like this, um, you have to have a lot of pride in uh, not only yourself and how you go about it, but also what you represent, uh, which is the tradition and all the people who've worked hard to make it what it is. Over the years, there's been numerous memorable moments between the Tide and Nittany Lions, but while it's important to keep a healthy respect for the past, that's not the most important thing come Saturday. I don't think we can dwell too much on, on that sort of thing, you know, just because we are focused on uh, the reason we are going up there, which is, you know, to, to play a game. And that's a long ride home for us, even to go back home and, you know, get beat. So we ain't planning on losing. We plan going out there and giving them all we can. And I know they're coming to give us all they can, too. Almost as soon as the Kent State game ended, Nick Saban began talking about the Penn State game and how this year's contest will be nothing like last year's 24-3 blowout. They seem like they play faster. I think the circumstances down here was real hot last year, probably affected them a little bit. Penn State is always the kind of team that they don't give you anything. Um, you, you, you have to go take what you're going to get by playing sound, solid, fundamental football. But with all that being said, how can you not be at least a little starstruck when facing a coach with the resume that Joe Paterno has? And I think about that and I say, how, I mean, that's unbelievable. It is unbelievable that you would be able to sustain at the same school for all these years and do it in such a first-class fashion. In Tuscaloosa, John Huddleston, WVUA Sports.